Hello everybody, this is 8-Bit to the Future, and I'm here to talk about the Pokemon Switch leaks that hit sometime, I believe it was last week, even earlier than that, but now these leaks, I'm not going to really go over the leaks, it's been out in the public, lots of major publications have spoken about the leaks, even iGen acknowledged it, people like Kotaku, lots of YouTube channels, Game Explain have covered it, and lots of people think that this is, uh, these leaks are real. I just want to go over my take on these leaks. Now, they seem to be real because there's been a lot of people backing these comments. Lots of people in the industry that are famous for leaks, as well as Nintendo themselves posting pictures on Twitter, on the official Nintendo Twitter account of Eevee in the offices, in the Nintendo offices, and just Eevee and Pikachu pictures put together. I don't know if it's actually true. Of course, none of us do until it gets announced. But I think it's just Nintendo having fun with the leaks. It doesn't necessarily mean they're acknowledging that the leaks are real. They know, they read all these forums, they read what people are saying online about all these leaks. So of course, they're going to have some fun with it. So I don't think they are confirming it. Personally, I actually think these leaks are not true. I'm probably going to eat my words when it comes out that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee editions are actually real. If they are real, I'm totally fine with it. I don't mind a remake of Yellow, the whole fact of Pokemon following you around, and still having some cool features that were introduced in Sun and Moon, such as Pokemon Ride taking over the HM abilities. And I'm sure it's going to have new things. And who knows? It doesn't mention anything about a new generation, but I feel that the new generation would also be included with this. So even though it would be the Kanto region, I personally feel if this were true, we would still see Gen 8. Are we going to find out by the end of the month like everybody's saying? Possibly. I think we will find out something before E3 so that at E3 they can talk about it. But I just don't... Especially... So the Pokemon Go integration, which people are freaking out about. I can see there being integration where there's some sort of connection between the two games. Where maybe you could bring eggs from... Pokemon Go into the Switch Edition, or things from the Switch Edition into Pokemon Go. I just don't see them changing things too much if it were true, because people are worried like, oh no, it's going to be battling like Pokemon Go, or it's going to be the catching where you throw the Pokeballs. Throwing the Pokeballs, it doesn't really matter. If I push a button or I throw the ball, I don't really care if, if they introduce that. But I think the Pokemon Go integration would be very minimal if it is in there and wouldn't actually hinder the game too much. Like, this is the Pokemon company. They know people are expecting a hardcore, standalone, traditional RPG. So I think the Pokemon company will deliver. And we'll just have to wait and see. So my final take, because I've been rambling on and on, is that I personally don't think these leaks are real. I've seen leaks before. Even though a bunch of people are reporting on them, I still don't think it's real. It could still be a remake of Yellow, like they are saying, but I don't think most of these details that are in here are going to be true. If they are, I'm okay with it. A little skeptical about Pokemon Go, but I'm pretty sure the Pokemon company is going to make the mistake and make it very Pokemon Go-esque. So that's my take. I guess we'll find out soon enough by the end of the month. We'll see. This was 8-Bit to the Future. Please don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think below. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already for more gaming goodness. And as always, game on.